Today we're making the two er is cumin burger from season four, episode 18 of Bob's Burgers, titled Amber Grease. It's my job. For usual, it's gonna be a simple burger, simple chef, not a lot of ingredients. Hopefully I can keep you entertained for six to seven minutes. If not, you have my permission to beat me senseless or something. Now hit the shower, sweat stuff. The burger is going to get zesty today, like a cougar wearing leopard print after four margaritas. I believe it will both be a shock to the senses and also extremely tasty. The ingredients pack a lot of punch, and as I let this lime rip like a Beyblade, I can tell we are ready. That's weird. It is weird, but what makes a lot of sense is preparing this jalapeno into small pieces that will eventually work into our patty before cooking it up. So much fun removing the stem and seeds. It kind of reminds me of the time I lost my virginity at a Golden Corral. Have I told you that story before? Guys, this is our chance to say yes, you did tell us that story. Fine, we'll save it for another day, but the reason we want to remove the seeds is because one, who wants to eat seeds, and two, they are very spicy. So after removing them, we have a nice jalapeno ready to be sliced and diced. I have found that preparing all the ingredients for these burgers has become a lot easier recently, which is really nice to see, because it always feels good to feel improvement in life, especially when you're putting in the work. It's almost like I left Pallet Town and I'm on my way to becoming a cooking master. A boy can plan for his big day. We have the jalapeno on the right track, but since it's actually going into the patty, we want it diced up even further, so with a flick of a wrist and giving it the old college try, we're doing just that. It's looking pretty good, so now we can transfer it into a dish for later. You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really- And there we have it. We can clean up and then sprint into the next prep phase. What's the rush? What do you mean? Oh, I but sorry. It's tomato time. We have entered the flow state and are ready to cut thin slices of this red beauty. Why not thick slices, you might be asking yourself. Well, it's a personal preference, but I like to get the flavor of a tomato without having to deal with the weird crunch of it. Also like to remove as much of the seedy pulp as possible so things don't get too soggy. A perfectly gorgeous slice. You are the eighth most attractive woman I've seen today. I'm going to continue to get a couple more slices so that I have some options later on when choosing which is the best and how many I actually want to add to the burger. With that said, we also need to be mindful of how messy things are getting on the cutting board before we move on to preparing our salon for the mayo that we're going to be creating. Spoiler alert, mayo mixed with cilantro and lime juice is phenomenal and I will be making it again. It honestly was the perfect addition to this burger while giving the overall taste a nice twist. I am Mr. Fish Odor. So we continue on, getting the cilantro into a small dish and getting it the hell out of here so we can show the lime who is boss. Toss it around to demonstrate your strength and then prepare to make a singular slice down the middle. This is make or break, so no pressure. The pupil becomes the master. Wow, what precision. Anyway, let's keep moving. I briefly mentioned that we'd be making a zesty mayo for the burger, so no time like the present, I suppose. Flop a good bit of your preferred mayo down into the bowl before we begin to add in the good stuff. I'm sorry for anyone who has the bad cilantro gene where the stuff tastes like soap. I will pour one out for you when I get the chance. Now let's add in the lime juice a little bit at a time so things don't get too runny. I was surprised by how great this mayo ended up being after just a couple of additions. A good lesson for life. If you add cilantro and lime juice to anything, it will instantly become better. I will have to remember that the next time I go to the DMV, or maybe that would be weird. Let's just change the subject, please. Sure, sports, what are they? Keep stirring to combine and get the consistency that you want and then throw in some flaky salt to taste. And then keep stirring to combine once again. You can keep repeating these steps over and over for an eternity, but it would probably get extremely salty and you might lose your house because stirring doesn't really pay the bills. It's almost time to prep our patty, but first let me hit you with a brief discussion. We're kind of cruising through this burger recipe. The vibes are good, it's coming along great. The caffeine's got me buzzing in the kitchen. I'm just thinking like, if I was gonna be transported into some sort of animated world, like I'll walk through a passageway in like Narnia, what animated world would I like to live in? Bosberg? Burgers, Family Guy, Dragon Ball Z. It's a, it's a hard question. It's a hard question. I'd love to know what you guys think. My favorite animated shows of all time, Gravity Falls, Hunter x Hunter, Adventure Time. You gotta be selective because you only got one choice. You don't want to be killed necessarily. I mean, that's probably a, that's probably one thing to consider. It's honestly a lot easier to think of live action. Like the first thing that comes to my head, Harry Potter. I'd love to be a wizard, that would be sick. But yeah, with animation, it's harder. I'll keep thinking about it. You do the same. Let's get back to the burger. Ring the bell, it's patty prep time. You know the drill and we're going to prep it like normal, right? Everything is the same, almost. The steps will be mostly the same. 
performing the patty, season well, flourish. But today we're gonna add in a couple additional steps as well. But first, let's introduce that flaky salt and ground pepper into the fold. Remember that jalapeno? Well, we now need to press the diced veggie into the meat, which is a little annoying to do, but it's going to be worth it. The final step to take the patty to the next level is seasoning with cumin as well. Sometimes it blows my mind when I think about how these ingredients started across the world and ended up in my kitchen. Huh, it really makes you think about stuff. Cumin is mainly produced in India and Iran, and yet here I am seasoning this burger with it. Just another example of the world tied together by food and cooking. The patty meatball is looking really good, so we can begin thinking about actually cooking it up. Oil enters the scene to lay down the red carpet for the real star of the show, but we need to spread it out over the hot pan like so. What do you think about us getting that patty in here to cook? I love it, but society will never accept you. I'm interested to see how things will be different when coated in cumin and filled with jalapenos in regard to the cooking process. So let's chill out, sit back, and find out together. One thing is for sure, it looks incredible and it smells even better. I will say though that the smoky, spicy air was messing with my eyes a little bit. It's almost time to flip, so the energy in the room is getting exciting. Can you hang bricks from your nipples? I wouldn't go that far, but to each their own. The crust on the patty looks great, and I can't wait to see how the difference in the texture brings the whole burger to new heights. It's done cooking, so let's admire our hard work. I'm very impressed with how it turned out, so let's just jump right in. Uh, okay, so should we order? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. What? Actually, never mind. We need to toast up our buns in the same pan, and today I'm actually using some onion buns to mix it up. So into the hot pan on low heat they go to soak up some of that fat left over from cooking the patty. It shouldn't take long, but in the meantime, I plan to pace back and forth. After about a minute, they should be ready to rock and roll. Can you feel it? We're almost finished, but the final touch will be getting this avocado sliced up for our masterpiece. Everything lined up and it came out belcher. How beautiful is that? It is a great feeling when these burgers come together the way I planned, so with the avocado prepped, let's build. Start with the bottom bun. Toss in some zesty mayo, then lay down some arugula, followed by some slices of tomato, then the juicy patty, Top that with the avocado, more mayo, and then complete with a top bun. Great work, everyone. The moment of truth has arrived, so let's take a big old bite of this burger and see how it turns out. It smells amazing. I think it's gonna taste the same, so let's give it a shot. Holy cow, this burger is fantastic. Everything about it is so flavorful. It kind of reminds me of a taco salad, but in a burger form. And as I'm talking to you guys, since I'm so hungry, all I can think about is as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going all in on this. It's without a doubt one of the best ones I've made so far, if not the best. I absolutely love it. So let's review it. It came together great, so it's getting a 9.8 out of 10, cementing it as a champion burger and one that I would highly recommend to everyone. The only complaint I have is that it's kind of an absolute mess. It's because my pants are off, isn't it? Taste-wise, it's perfection. So great burger and a great way to start my week. Thanks for feasting with me today, and please subscribe if you liked what you saw.